What is going on everyone? Mike go back doing another box break. Today I'll be breaking one hobby box of the newly released 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Two autographs per master box. Each master box contains two mini boxes. So Bowman Chrome, it's a release that is anticipated by many. This year you have the Retro Fractors, which will be a chase. I know there's a bounty on the Super Fractor of Babe Ruth. I actually think that's a pretty cool idea. I like the idea of the retro um, first Bowman cards. I know it's a silly gimmick in a way, and I don't need them to be super rare, but I actually think they're pretty cool. I am self-admittedly not a huge prospector. I get it. I think it's fun and it's interesting to follow. I just am not the type that's ever going to chase prospects. I'm never going to spend big money on completely unproven guys. It is fun to, um, a couple years later, go through some of your uh, boxes and then find guys who made it and such. And obviously, it's a whirlwind. Some guys will sell for a lot now. They'll sell for a lot more later. Uh, some guys will sell for a lot now and be absolutely unsaleable in the future. So we'll see. Uh, these Bowman Chrome, they're going for about $300 per master box right now. Uh, I pre-ordered these from Tops. Whenever they went on sale a month ago, something like that, maybe more than that. So we'll see. Uh, obviously, kind of a crapshoot with the autographs. Six packs per mini box, five cards per back. Did I say that right? Five cards per back, six packs per mini box, um, one autograph per mini box. So we'll see. I'm sure you can get some refractor stuff like that. Uh, mostly a prospect checklist, handful of vets as well. So let's see how we do, and we'll only know how we do as of now, because obviously you could watch this video in five years and be like, whoa, that's a monster hit, or be like, wow, who are all those guys? So we'll see. Most singles will be going up on the eBay shop, might go card shop. Let's get into it. Uh, cover boys are Elijah Green from the Nationals and Adley Rutschman from the Baltimore Orioles. I like these products that are mini boxes. Chance to get an autograph in each of them. Spread out the hits a little bit. Let's get into pack number one. All right, pack one, we've got a Luis Arise as a Miami Marlin. We got a Yoshida rookie card. I'm assuming there's image variations in this set as well. Uh, did not um, look at it. That ends in 63. Yes, that's just the base card. Uh, an iconic Julio Rodriguez. That's pretty cool. Image from the first Bowman. A Roman Anthony prospect card and a first Bowman of Luis Therese from the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. So I don't think the prospects in this set are extremely highly touted. I was glancing at one list, and again, I don't know how official the list is or how... how well, it's considered, but the one tiered list only had four guys listed as a tier one prospect, and then really only a handful is tier two, a um, little more in tier threes, and most were tier four. So we'll see. Looks like we have a speckle refractor. We got a Jordan Alvarez, a little light surface scratch there, sadly. Garrett Mitchell, rookie. Carter Young from the Orioles is a speckle refractor that is numbered out of 299. So I don't know a ton about Carter Young, but I'll have to look that one up. Jackson Holiday, obviously highly touted prospect. That's just a prospect card. And Lantigua from the Dodgers is our first Bowman in that. So we're two packs in. Obviously, the regular Bowman reliefs always gets a lot of... Uh, prospects that people are chasing, and then you have the Bowman draft. Langlier's rookie. Paul Goldschmidt, Heston, Arizona Fall League insert, Henry Chavilli from the Minnesota Twins first Bowman, and Javier Rivas from the 
Pittsburgh Pirates. Halfway through that first mini. Grayson Rodriguez, rookie. We got a Jordan Alvarez, iconic. We've got a Sebastian Walcott, shortstop from the Texas Rangers, first Bowman. Looks like a Magenta Shimmer. That is numbered out of 199. Christopher Torin for the Diamondbacks. And Luis Gonipa, first Bowman for the Atlanta Braves. I believe he is one of the uh, Tier 1 prospects. So maybe a decent little first Bowman there. I'm not sure what the production numbers are in Bowman Chrome. I would have to assume it's much lower than a regular Bowman. Bowman... Base Bowman gets so much retail release. And I know a few years ago they started doing mega boxes for Bowman Chrome, but it's still not to the same level. Uh, Yuri Perez, rookie for the Marlins. Nice one there. He's a good pitcher for the Marlins. Obviously, pitchers don't get a lot of um, love in the hobby, but he is a ton of talent. Garrett Cole. There's our autograph. Bryant Betancourt for the Rockies. So, Betancourt, born in 2003, so about 20 years old. So, I'll have to take a peek at that. Obviously, um, you know the autographs, some sell really cheap. A lot of people like to pick them up in case they uh, pick it up in the future. It's a Drew Jones prospect card and uh, Maya. First Bowman for the Yankees. And our last pack. Is Lindor. Francisco Alvarez rookie for the Mets. We got a. Coonwood Park. Is that an international? International refractor to 499 from Korea. Uh, Korea. Justin Crawford prospect card and a first Bowman of Felnin Celestin. Probably butchered that name, but he, I believe, is also one of those uh, top prospects, one of those tier one prospects. So a couple decent first Bowmans and one auto. So we'll get into mini box number two, see how we do. Products like this, obviously you at least get some base cards and parallels and stuff but when you're paying close to $300 per box it is tough to break even I guess if you do a full case you just gotta hit that good case if you're doing one box it's very hit or miss alright let's get into pack number one I did hear apparently there's like lucky boxes or something like that where everything's an autograph but there's only a handful of those made all right, we got an O'Neill Cruz base, Jeremy Pena, an iconic Mike Trout. Pretty cool. I like that insert. That insert's neat. Oswaldo Osoria and Welbin Francisca from Cleveland. All right, pack number two, Chris Bryant. Raphael Devers. We got Prospect Process of Justin Crawford. Decent looking card there. Brailer Guerrero and Alfredo Duno for Cincinnati. We got a Shohei Otani base. Reese Hoskins. Jackson Merrill, Arizona Fall League insert. Cam Collier, prospect. And Spencer Jones, prospect for the Yankees. All right, we got Corey Seager. Iconic is Brett Beatty. And we've got an Elijah Green refractor. 
numbered to 75. So Elijah Green, obviously one of the cover boys. It's not a first or anything, just a prospect card. Uh, sweet looking card. I'm assuming that's like a yellow wave, I would have to guess. I don't have the list, but I believe yellows are usually 75. So nice looking parallel there. Jackson Merrill and Elijah Green base. All right, two packs left. Oscar Colas for the White Sox. Miguel Amaya rookie. First Bowman is a, uh, auto is a Jarrell Ortega for the Minnesota Twins. Again, don't know a ton about him. We got Roman Anthony and Torres, the other base. Hopefully the two guys I got, maybe tier two guys, but we'll see. This guy born in 2001, so 22 years old. Only had uh, five at-bats in the minors last year. So I'll have to do a little research looking into him. But if you don't hit autos that go for about $100, that's when you really um, end up taking a bit of a loss on these boxes. All right, last pack. No retrofractors. Patrick Bailey rookie from the Giants. James Outman rookie. We got It Came to the League. Jordan Walker, very cool looking insert. Another Jackson Holiday base and a first Bowman of Lantigua. So some duplicates out of the two mini boxes. So that is it for the master box. Breaking two boxes, um, 30 cards Per mini so you end up with a stack of base and inserts about that large not a ton of highlights uh the ray wave or the wave refractor probably not a ray wave but a wave of elijah green couple decent first bowman i believe and then speckle refractor of carter young and two autographs are Ortega and Betancourt. So comment below. Let me know what you think of Bowman Chrome. To me, I'm not the hugest fan. It's not like a product I look forward to a lot or anything like that. But obviously, I understand why people do. It's one of those products, prospect heavy. It's kind of a crapshoot. You save the boxes sealed. In five years, they could be three times the original retail price or they could actually be well below if there's no one really to chase so we'll see uh it only takes one or two major stars to make a product let me know how you think i did and i will talk to you next time have a great one